A successful food plot starts with a quality seed product. But how is a land manager supposed to separate the good products from the bad? Luckily, there are laws requiring any seed product sold in the U.S. to be clearly labeled with a seed tag. Now, this tag is often overlooked by many wildlife food plotters, but it contains a wealth of information and vital details regarding what is actually in the bag of seed they're purchasing. To begin, the seed tag will detail the contents of the bag and tell by percentage just how much of each seed species and other ingredients are included. Also, each specific seed will have been tested for germination. This information is also included along with the date of the germination test. Now, this information is critical for detailing what is actually in the bag of seed you're buying. Real World Wildlife Seed wants you to be educated about reading seed tags so that you can fairly compare different seed products and make the best selection for your needs while also getting the most for your money. Simply picking out the prettiest bag or falling for a clever marketing ploy is a good way to end up with an inferior product and ultimately a lesser quality food plot. We recently visited a major sporting goods store and purchased five different clover-based seed products, all from big-name food plot seed companies. Let's take a moment and compare these five products against Real World's own clover and chicory blend by using the seed tags on each bag. Now, by doing this, we can easily see how some companies decrease their input costs and sell you an inferior product. Remember, the information we're going to be showing you here was obtained right from the seed tags that each company puts on their own products. The results will probably surprise you. Let's start with product number one. This company gives you nine pounds in their bag to do a one acre planting. What jumps out at us right away is that this product contains 34.5% seed coating or inoculant, sometimes also listed as inert matter on the seed tag. So after we subtract the seed coating, this nine pound bag actually contains 5.9 pounds of seed. Now, while this sounds bad, this was actually the best product of the five we purchased in terms of the amount of actual seed provided for a one acre planting. Now on to product number two. This product gives you eight pounds in their bag for a one acre planting. The bad news is that this bag contains 50% seed coating. This means that if you buy this product, you actually end up with only four pounds of seed to do a one acre planting. Product number three follows the same trend as the others. It comes in a three and a half pound half acre bag. To keep the comparison fair, let's consider what you get in two of these bags to plant a one acre food plot. In two of these bags, you would get seven pounds to plant one acre, but 34% of this is seed coating. This leaves you with only 4.46 pounds of seed to do a one acre planting. Product number four also comes in a half acre bag, this one containing four pounds. Using two of these bags for a one acre planting, we would end up with eight pounds, but 34.35% of this is seed coating. So in the end, this company gives its customers only 5.25 pound of seed to do a one acre planting. Product number five falls right in line with the others we've looked at. It comes in a four pound bag. So two of these bags would equal eight pounds for one acre of planting. The inert matter or seed coating is 50%. So in eight pounds, you would actually only get four pounds of actual seed to plant a one acre food plot. Now, let's look at Real World Wildlife Seed Company's Clover and Chicory Blend. Real World starts out by giving you 10 pounds in their one acre bag, more than any other major food plot seed company. The big difference, however, is that Real World's 10 pound bag only contains 2.5% seed coating and inert matter, meaning that 97.5% of the product in the Real World bag is seed. This equates to 9.75 pounds of seed for a one acre planting significantly more seed than any major competitor, and more than double the amount offered by some of them. Now, Real World wants to make it clear that seed coating or inoculant is a good thing. It helps the seed to germinate and become a healthy established plant, but don't be fooled into thinking that more is better when it comes to seed coating. For comparison, think of seed coating as you would oil in your car's engine. If your car requires five quarts of oil, using eight or 10 quarts is not better. The same principle applies to seed coating. The reason that some companies go overboard with seed coating is because it's much cheaper than actual seed. It allows them to cheapen their input cost while keeping the same volume of material in their bags. What's more, the price on each of these products is comparable, and in fact, Real World's Clover and Chicory Blend actually costs less than some of the products we just compared it with. Another trick that some seed companies use to appeal to vulnerable and uneducated consumers is by using brightly colored seed coatings, sometimes even giving it a special name. 
Don't be fooled. The seed coating that Real World uses on its clover seed is a dull gray color, but it works just as well as the others and is applied at the proper rate to do its job while still giving you maximum seed volume. Knowing how to read a seed tag can also reveal other ways that some companies use to cheapen their input costs. One way is by using seed with poor germination rates. This information is required to be on the seed tag, but most food plotters simply don't know to look for it. Poor germination rates can have several causes, including old seed. But what's important to you is that poor germination rates can result in poor stands in your food plots. Deceiving their customers even further, some companies use cheaper filler seeds as part of the blend to cut down on the expense associated with using only the best and generally higher priced seed varieties. If you're not familiar with some of the seed species or varieties you see on a seed tag, do some research. Just because a particular seed has a catchy name does not mean that it's the best choice for a quality food plot. Like all real-world seed products, the clover and chicory blend was largely developed by planting as many varieties as possible side-by-side side for comparison and to allow deer to show which ones they prefer. Real-world refuses to use cheap filler seeds and always strives to have the very best seed blends possible. Some seed companies even mix annuals and perennials in the same blend. An annual is a plant that only lives for one year and then dies off and must be replanted each year. A good example of an annual food plot crop is soybeans or oats. A perennial is a plant that comes back for multiple years, like clover or alfalfa. There are actually clover blends on the market that contain annual seeds in the blend. This often leads to bare spots and thin areas within a plot for the second year, where the annuals did not come back. The tricks that some food plot seed companies are using to sell their products to the hunter would never fly in the agricultural industry. Farmers are well educated on how to read a seed tag and would quickly see the tricks that are being used. Real World is striving to build a well-informed customer base by educating food plotters on issues such as reading seed tags. Using the information we have shared here, it should now be very easy for you to walk into a store and compare various seed products by simply looking at that seed tag. Remember the real-world motto, dare to compare. There really is a difference.